friends, denizens of the internet, hello and welcome back to another exciting episode of Fatal Frame 3, The Tormented, over here at Lost Time Gaming. I'm Devo, we are jumping back into the shoes of Ray, and we're going to be listening to some tapes, because I, I believe we listened to this first one uh, last episode, but we did not get a chance to listen to these other two. So, and if we did, you can feel free to just skip ahead past this. Uh, I could have forgotten that, like I said, it's hard to remember when it's just one, one uh, episode a week, so let's listen. lovely lovely stuff uh the audio got a little garbled there it, it's funny it got worse the the longer the tape went on but it, that was really just the emulation being crappy i want to say so we listened to both the manor sleep tapes listen let's listen to the same dream one huh how many times do i have to explain it it was a manor and it was snowing there was blood. Lots of people, they collapsed all over. In the hallway, in the room, everywhere. Yes, it was a man in white clothes, but he had no face. There was a hatchet and blood on the walls. I always ran as hard as I could, so far. Lots of hands came out of the walls, but when I came to... Somehow I was the one chasing the man. That's right. That the woman, yesterday she touched me. It was painfully cold. Even when I woke up, my body was like ice. <sighs> it's too. Well, that's all great. I'm glad we listened to those. Uh, yay! Now that's done, let's go to sleep. And by sleep, I mean go to a land of hellish nightmares where ghosts are around. Should be good. Wait, who are we now? What is this? Was this you? Are we playing as you right now? Instructions for special action hide added to file. Oh, not a stealth section. Oh, no. All right, well, let's look at this, because I don't know what that's all about. Oh, you're just, you're, you're not even going to tell me about it. It's like, oh, yeah. Make sure you look up that section we put in there about hiding. There we go. Making use of blind spots. K can hide from vengeful ghosts. By pushing the circle button, you can crouch to hide. Oh, we're, um, we're Yu's friend. Okay. The uncle of Mio and, 
Mayu, but, you know, Mayu never escaped. So anyway, escape from Vengeful Ghosts. Cage Filament has a special response to Vengeful Ghosts. When a Vengeful Ghost finds him, the filament turns red. When the ghost loses sight of K, it turns blue. By escaping into their blind spots, you can evade ghosts, but there are some ghosts that will pursue you anywhere. Okay, cool. So, red bad, blue good. The circle is hide, and maybe just hide a lot, and things will be good. I don't, I don't believe that for a second. He just told me red is when they can see me. So, I'm kind of confused. Also, where where are we right now? The Manor of Sleep, first floor, barred hallway. Okay, that doesn't sound familiar, but as I said, it's hard to... It's hard to memorize these places, especially now when we're kind of splitting between multiple characters at the same time. Hide behind this wall real quick. Ah, that's nice. Just take a crouch, take a knee. It's like being in football all over again. Just roll up, take a knee. Friendly mirror, nothing bad's gonna happen there. The door is tightly sealed. Good, then I'm gonna run this way. I thought for sure they wanted to uh they wanted us to kind of follow closely behind the other ghost, but I guess I was wrong. Pretty sure there's a upstairs here, or a stairs up rather. Oh, was was that Mio? Mio! Yep, that was, uh, those are some crimson butterflies. The door is locked. Could Mio be on the other side of the door? The lock is engraved with a butterfly. Yeah, Kay, I mean, you literally just saw her walk up there, so... Probably. Oh, Jeeves. Jeeves. All right. Big old sneeze there. That, that riddled my brain a little bit. What is that? You hear that? Kind of sounds like that, uh, that Japanese style musical instrument, like the, I want to say the one from Kung Fu Hustle, the one that's like a lay down kind of guitar almost. There's an old book in front of the Koto. Purple Diary 1. How many days has it been? How many months? How many years? Many outsiders have been brought here, but none of them are like him. He said my hair was beautiful, but no matter how much I arrange it, he'll probably never know how I feel. All I can do is comb my hair and wait for him. That way, when he comes back with his camera, He'll take my picture again. Purple Diary 1, add it to your file. Yeah, I was going to say, that definitely sounds like um, one of the plot points in Fatal Frame 2, which is one of the twins being sacrificed, uh, I think kind of hit it off with one of the visiting uh, folklorists, I believe. Ooh, I was gonna say, are we going in the tiny door? Oh yeah, I remember we did this as Mio, that's for sure. Oh. I don't think it was this long, though. <laughs> Nothing like walking at a half bend over to really just jack up your spine. <laughs> oh, and a little balancing? Fun. Fun, let's just keep going straight, I guess. Wait, what is that? An old palanquin hangs from the roof beams. Huh? The palanquin itself is quite simple and unadorned, but the window frame is beautifully decorated. I'm not familiar with that term, palanquin. It kind of looks like the thing uh, that you would like cart around like nobility in, like you'd have like a bunch of people carry it from posts and somebody would ride in the center kind of deal. I assume that's what that is. That's kind of what it looks like. Why it's strapped to a roof beam, I have no idea. The paper screen window is fixed in place, and I can't see outside. Ah, yes, paper. The greatest of windows. Ah, another tiny door. Good. 
Oh, it's a tiny door. Puzzle. Oh. There is a stone slate on the door, and several stones are inlaid. Perhaps it is a contrivance to unlock it. You tried, but it won't open. There is a minute script engraved on the stone slab. Engrave in the pedestal the same number of panes as are engraved on the sleeping stone. Yeah, you, you say that every time we get one of those, and I still got no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> I always just kind of slap them around until we get what we want. But clearly we're missing a important stone object. Oh, I didn't like that camera angle. That weirded me out. I'm just kind of clumsily walk on these, like, two-foot-wide beams, which would be totally easel, easily walkable. Is it in here? No. Okay. Can we go this way? Is this an option? This is not an option. Alright, fair enough. Alright, slowly walking on the beams. Then we do a half crouch. Again, great for the lower lumbar. Just really just stretching all the muscles that shouldn't be stretched and just contorting the spine. Good stuff. May seem like I'm overly angry about that, but I have a crawl space under my house that's about the same height, and it's just, oh, it's so uncomfortable to walk around. Now again, I'm hearing that down here, but I get the feeling they, they want me to go upstairs to figure out where that sound's coming from. Unless it's this. The door is locked. The keyhole is long and thin and unusually shaped. It is engraved with holly. Okay. Is somebody here? No, there's nobody here. I don't think this uh, constitutes hiding. Yeah, I think I might have screwed up. Okay. I guess I guess we're all good. I, I don't know. I don't think I'm doing this right. <laughs> Something tells me. Oh, sweet! It did it for me. Cool. <laughs> it knew it was a terrible, uh, terrible way to run a stealth section, so it did it for me. No, I'm not here. No, that's the wrong button, K. No, that's the wrong button, K. Oh, never, never mind. We're good. That was the right button. <laughs> oh, I didn't expect those to open. Cool. Something is reflecting light. Herbal medicine. Pills here. Good times. Oh, you're right there. No, 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 no. Let go, K. What did K ever do to you? Back up. I'm going to run through you. I think what we were supposed to do was hide from the ghost so we can get back up here and go up the stairs. I, th I think that's what we were supposed to do. <laughs> Again, uh, survival horror games, like, every once in a while, a survival horror game would be like, how about we add some stealth elements? And it's like, no, don't. Please. Please don't. It's, uh, it's never done correctly. So we look at the map, right? There's the, the room with the hilariously weird key. There's the upstairs where we can't go, and then there's this hallway, which we also don't have the key for. So we clearly, I guess we have to go back downstairs, right? Oh, you're right there. That's unfortunate for Kay. Or is this something right here? Among the fragments of blah, blah, blah. Ha hairpin with the holly pattern. Oh, okay, cool. Let's take that and, like, leave. I'm not here. You're, 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 you're hallucinating. Just ignore it. Nope, I'm fine. We're all fine here. How are you? I open the key with the, the holly door. I put the holly hairpin in the keyhole. The door's unlocked. Great. 
should probably get in there, Kay. You should, Kay, you should probably... Woman with comb. Good. Let's look at that. Yeah, anytime I play a survival horror game with, a, like, the light stealth elements, I always end up just kind of brute forcing my way through. Woman with comb. Inside the room, decorated with kimonos and locked from the inside, was the ghost of a woman with long, flowing hair. Around the mirror stand, clumps of her hair had been pinned to the wall. Ugh. Had she been waiting for someone there all that time? I mean, that, that's what that note said, so, like, I figure, yeah. That would, uh, lend credence to, uh, you know, the, the note we got. Slowly walk downstairs, turn back around halfway down him. You know, as you do. Oh, so we're we're back in the area we were in before. A basket is dangling from a rope tied to the roof beam. There doesn't seem to be anything inside. Thanks, Kay. Just spot on informational gathering there. Oh, that's what this is here for. We're supposed to use this as a hidey spot for Kay. Okay. There's a baby doll in the straw cradle. Thanks, Kay. Kay, what are you looking at? That? The ornaments are a matching pair of twin dolls. Okay, I'm glad you were looking at that. There's a room. Wait, the plate has been painted with a beautiful design, but the colors fade and dim now. What's that? I was sworn. Oh, it's the light bulb. I was gonna say I could have sworn I saw a shiny coming through the floor, but no, it's a, it's just a light bulb. Now, where are we going? Here? The side door is locked. The lock is engraved with a Dianthus design. Okay, well, we don't have that, so... Whoopee. But this... Well, this is certainly a hallway. Ah, uh, the four-way split. I don't like the four-way split. Makes me have to make decisions that I don't like making. Let's go this way. It's sealed by some strong power. Good, good. Well, if that way didn't do it, how about this way? I swear I saw something like turning the corner behind me as we went in here. Ah, it's the it's the theater. Good. I'm glad we're in the theater again. I'm not. I hate it here. <laughs> There's a bookcase built into the far wall. The books lining the shelves have all been rotted by mold and look like they would fall to pieces if anyone picked them up. Okay. I mean, you say that, but you gotta keep in mind we're in, like, a dream realm, so, like, books rotting is not, a uh, doesn't really make sense. Something is reflecting light. Pistol film. All right. I don't know why. I'm pretty sure what we're carrying technically isn't the camera obscura because, as you can see, we have no, like, indicators. There's no... There's no nothing, pretty much. It's the long and short of it. But we'll keep keep wandering aimlessly in the, the house that dreams forgot. Surely it's gonna... Only good things can come of this. There's something on the floor. Pills here. Good. Also, isn't this where we started? Did we just run a big loop? No, we couldn't because we couldn't go the one way I tried to go. Tiny door? What do you get to say about this? The door is tightly sealed. That's unfortunate. Ooh, save point. Thank you. I'm, I'm going to royally screw up one of these uh, stealth encounters so bad that we die, so I'm glad we got a save point. Let's go with this one. Save complete, good. Oh, yeah, I know uh, we're kind of in the middle of the episode here, but I want to take a second and apologize for there being no uh, Mega Man Legends 2 episodes this week. It's just the way the schedule worked out, it was uh, it was going to be extremely difficult for me to not only beat the last boss, but get the episode uploaded in time. So it did not happen. Sorry about it, but this is the way it is. Thick cords of sacred rope and paper are stretched over the door, which has been tightly sealed off. Maybe there's something sealed up inside. I don't know. It's like you seal a door, and uh, maybe there's something inside when you seal it. You know? Very good, I guess. 
Yeah, unfortunately, some, time, some weeks I just run into the lack of having enough free time to get the episodes out on time, and I try to minimize that, but sometimes I can't, can't eliminate it. A rope festooned with white paper charms is wrapped around a large withered tree. Tied to the rope is a wooden memorial tablet in the shape of a person. I'm just checking. I know we've uh, checked this stuff before, but we're here as a different person, so I have no idea why we're here, so to speak, because we really don't get much lead-in in, in the way of, like, a direction as to what we're supposed to do when we come in here with a new person. I was kind of hanging in there when we were, you know, we kept coming in here as Ray, and I kind of had the whole place mapped out in my head, but then it threw us for a loop because we did Miku in the Himuro Mansion, which was totally different. Now we're back in this one with a different person and going through the same areas again, but they all seem equally kind of new because we're a different person now light burns on the altar where a miniature shrine has been set up okay cool anything in here you want to look at Kay? no okay well i hate it in here so let's leave it might be like one of the creepiest rooms possibly imagined it's just really bad it's sealed by some strong power and i assume our end goal is um to get a stone so we can unlock that, like, tiny door in the rafter area, but, like, how do I know where that is? The answer is I don't. Mostly for the aforementioned, they haven't told us where to go, so I'm just kind of checking everything. I like a little breadcrumb trail every now and then on a, on a horror game, but I guess, you know, you can't always win. Alright, so we're back in the area where we came down the steps originally. Um, and I think, so we came from there, this door is locked, we came from up the stairs, so we're not going back up there, so I assume it's back towards the four-way split here, and it's just one of the ways we didn't go, which I assume is down? Or wait. Oh. That's weird. I must have got turned around there could have sworn we went we went that way but uh, it this if it, it, something in particular about the way that room is set up really confuses me I don't know what it is it's obviously just a room it's not like a an elder god from another plane of existence but it throws me off for whatever reason oh oh oh, oh uh, uh, get behind the hole oh I can't get over there okay that's unfortunate are you still there now or no, you're gone. Okay. Maybe I'll crouch. Crouching's fun. Well, okay then. That was that was great. I'm glad we glad we did that. Oh, okay. Get up behind the screen. No, stop. Crouch time. While we wait to be scared, I'm going to take a sip of my coffee. Mmm, that's good bean juice. I was going to say, tell me I'm not supposed to be doing something. The controller's finally vibrating a little. Yep, getting really uncomfortably close in my ears now. Mmm, yep. It's, it's getting better. Oh, hi, extra planar being with the power to curse people. I'm going for it. Okay, Kay, Kay, come on now. Run, Kay, run. Run, Kay. I don't know if this was the right thing to do or not. So, something tells me that wasn't the right thing to do. <laughs> uh, I think we... I get the feeling we have to go back this way, though. That was the long and short of it. 
but I don't know. I don't know. This this section is really throwing me for a loop, I guess. All right, so clearly that reset. So let's try this again, I guess. And if I don't get it this time, well, I don't know. I'm just gonna, I'll just cry a little bit and move on with my life. Because clearly going down the steps triggers the ghost to come down the hall, right? And then, but you see, we have quite the, quite the wait time for the ghost to come down the hall, like a lot. So I'm just wondering if we were supposed to just run to the door and ignore the fact that the ghost was coming after us. As we saw, like, when the ghost comes in, it starts kind of moseying slowly around, like, looking for us. And usually in those situations where you're hiding from something... I'm sure it does. The, the ghost will, like, eventually check the spot you're hiding in. So... Well, so what, what do you do? I, I don't know. Maybe if it goes, like, down the stairs by the door, we'll move over to that... That uh, partition there. It seems like what it's doing. Oh no! Don't don't look over here. Don't do it. Controller doesn't like you being over here. It's vibrating very angrily, freaking me out. Let's move on. Yeah, if you can go ahead and leave, that would be that would be appreciated. Yep, keep keep moving down the hall. I can I can hear you. You just keep on going. Now the real question is, is that it? Is that was that the goal? Or is the ghost gonna like loop back down the hallway again if I sit here too long? I don't know. The game hasn't told me anything. <laughs> the game told me to run from ghosts or hide from ghosts. And the only, the only proximity senses I have is the, the loudness of the ghost, so. Oh, there it, it, it disappeared, okay. Let's try this again. Okay, ghost did not come in that time, good. Healed by some strong power, are you kidding me? Ugh. There's something on the ground about the size of a person, covered with reed matting. Definitely not a person, that's for sure. Same deal there, okay. So I'm kind of confused, like, what... Of what benefit was that? Well, I think that's the... Yeah, that's the rafter area. So... I don't know. I feel like I'm going to have to look this up because I'm, I'm clearly just missing a key component as to what we're supposed to be doing here. Maybe maybe I read it and just didn't understand it and we just kind of blew right past it, but I don't know. Well, there's a door there. I don't know if we checked that. Oh, that's because it's not connected to that room there. Yeah, we'd have to... Oh, yeah, that's another part of the house. That door didn't open. I know we checked that one. That that door didn't open. We checked that one. And I want to say that door didn't open either. So, all right. Well, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna head back to the save point. And save it at this point, I guess. I don't I don't know what else to do. I thought for sure maybe like once we did that section with the ghost and hiding from it, like a, a key might, you know, appear or the, the the stone we're looking for, but nope, it's all it's all gone wrong now. Also, it seems like the flashlight has broken in this section of the game. I don't know why. If you haven't noticed yet, I'm sorry I brought it up and made you aware of it. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh hi, angry ghost. No, I don't want to die. We're going in here? Is, it, is this what we're doing? No, that's not what we're doing. Okay, you've made a... Okay, you've made a serious mistake. No. 
tightly sealed. Oh, I'm still coming for us. Okay. I feel like maybe we've just kind of started like some sort of weird running from the ghost chain event, but no, that didn't happen. Alright, well, at that point, I think I'm just going to have to leave this episode here. We'll pick this up in the next episode when I figure out what's going on. So, that being said, if you enjoyed the video today, feel free to leave a like, leave a comment, and get subscribed. Let me know down in the comment section below what you thought about my gameplay, my commentary, or anything else in general. That being said, thanks for watching, and as usual, I'll catch you all on the flip side.